pictures, the stories, your world. This is News 8 at 5. Well, hundreds of people hit the pavement today to raise money for local families struck by tragedy. They attended the second annual Mitchell Thorpe Foundation Walkathon in Carlsbad to benefit the families of children with life threatening illnesses. News 8 Doug Kolk shows us the community support. Back in 2006, when Mitchell Thorpe was sick, the community surprised his family with a walkathon. So touched by the generosity, even after their son died, they wanted to pay it forward. We were very inspired to actually do this. Less than three years ago, Brad and Beth Thorpe lost their son Mitchell to a five-year battle with an undiagnosed illness. And our medical bills were just staggering. They witnessed uh, the community support firsthand, and even after losing Mitchell in 2008, you can't thank the community enough. They wanted to keep the generosity moving forward. We're just trying to get through this day by day, helping families like Isaiah Wallace's. It's just too much for like a young couple. Like we haven't even experienced like a lot of our lives yet. Four months ago, their now 21-month-old baby Isaiah got hit by a drunk driver. So they do this every year to help out a family, and this year they chose us. Doctors say Isaiah may go home in March, but his medical care is estimated to be at about fifteen to thirty thousand dollars a day. People we don't even know. It's pretty much everyone here we don't know. You no, know, we just appreciate all the help that we're getting. I had to grow up very fast. Sam Reiser knows. I was diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. Last year he was on the other side of the walk. I relapsed that following September. A sixteen-year-old cancer survivor. Eventually they had to go through what's called a stem cell transplant and had my whole immune system replaced. Not taking a breath for granted. When you're going through cancer, you know, your heart kind of gets broken. Not many people know what you're going through, and uh, so you kind of feel alone at certain times. He knows events like the Mitchell Thorpe Walkathon not only provide monetary support, but also emotional. We have events like this because you hear about the support, you hear about you know, people praying for you, but it's one thing to hear about it and there's one thing to see it. We're a volunteer-based organization that you know, does what we can, puts every dollar back to the families that we can. Last year, about $70,000 was raised, and that went to five local families. This year, they're not exactly sure how much money was raised, but they do say the attendance is about the same. Doug Kolk, News 8. And if you'd like to help out with this cause, we've set up links to both Isaiah Wallace's webpage and the Mitchell Thorpe Foundation. Please just head to our website, cbs8.com, and click on the hot button.